I'm sure many people who live here have had personal experience taking a flight out of Bush Intercontinental or Houston Hobby, or they picked up a relative or friend there. But I'm sure many people are unaware that we have a very important system of general aviation airports that support not only residents who are traveling, but businesses that need a very immediate and uh, personalized access to air transportation. I think most people don't realize sort of the economic ripple effect that aviation has in the community. So in terms of economic impact for the Houston region, uh, the Houston airport system has an over $27 billion impact and accounts for over 200,000 jobs. And every paved runway, unpaved runway, promotes economic activity and viability in that region. Having these infrastructures in place is the key to tens of thousands of jobs in the region. It's estimated that the Houston region will add nearly 4 million people and 2 million jobs by 2040. The Houston Regional Airport System will play a huge part in that growth. The airports in our area already are generating 1.9 million takeoffs and landings a year. That rate is expected to almost double by 2030. Millions of people a year will use and benefit from our airports. The Houston-Galveston Area Council has created a plan that is the blueprint for the future of our airport system. It's called the Regional Aviation System Plan. The plan examines our airports, evaluates how well they perform, it identifies future improvements, and ensures that the system continues to be a major economic engine for our area. It is a critical piece of infrastructure for any robust regional economy. If you don't have a good airport system in Houston, you know, you're not going to have the Chevrons and the Exxons and the Apaches of the world headquartered here with thousands and thousands of employees because if you don't have that infrastructure, they're going to go someplace else. It's the big airport spending hundreds of millions of dollars. It's a smaller airport spending a million dollars. This turns into jobs, it, it turns into investments, and it turns into uh, the future of Houston. Houston has had a partnership with aviation since the pioneering days of flight. The first aircraft flight took off from a grassy South Houston field in 1910. Over the decades, air travel became increasingly important. Airfields and then airports grew up to serve the needs of the Houston-Galveston region. By the 1950s, there were regular flights from Hobby Airport to Mexico City. And Houston's airports became an airport system as the area expanded. Because our region can expect more people, and because our airports are huge revenue and job providers, now is the time to think about the future. Where do we go from here? The plan identifies 600 projects to meet our growing aviation needs. $2.3 billion in needed airport improvements over the next 20 years. Those include improvements for runways, taxiways, terminals, and hangars. Terminal D, which is the terminal we are here at right now, we're currently renovating and building a brand new gate for the A380, the largest passenger um, aircraft in the world. At Hobby, we are about to embark on a $100 million expansion program. That will include five new gates and a federal inspection service facility to accommodate um, international flight that's going to be taking place there. The good thing about Houston Executive is we're in the fastest growing area in the United States. Uh, we do plan on going to about 7,800 feet of runway, which will be longer than Hobby. We're finally going to start our terminal building, which is about a $5 million project. We'll actually build our arrival canopy as well, too. It'll be one of the largest arrival canopies in the country. <music> Let's take a look at the airport system we have today. The Regional Airport System Plan includes 26 airports in the 13-county Houston-Galveston region. Most of the region's residents live within 30 minutes of one of these airports. Every 10 years we add over a million new residents 
and along with that comes many jobs. These people, these jobs, these businesses, they depend upon convenient and easy access to airports for much of their activity. The corporate aircraft has become a necessary tool. Um, it allows access for corporations into smaller markets, medium-sized markets. It allows for their sales forces to get into an area where they need to get into. It allows them to establish businesses. We are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. We provide services to the little guys, to folks who come in here to make business transactions, who do little deals. This airport here, West Houston Airport, contributes over $20 million a year for the economic impact of this community. Our regional airports are classified by the Federal Aviation Administration into three categories, commercial, reliever, and general aviation. Commercial airports provide scheduled airline service. They also are essential elements of the national transportation system. Our region's two commercial airports are Bush Intercontinental and Hobby. At Bush Intercontinental, we have over 40 million passengers traveling through IH, and at Hobby, we have over 10 million passengers traveling through Hobby. We move almost 450 a uh, thousand tons of cargo um, throughout the airport. You're talking computer parts, you're talking um, airplane parts, you're talking parts for the oil field, etc. It's extremely important, the jobs that it generates and the service that it provides here. Reliever airports are designed to do just that, relieve congestion at Bush and Hobby. There are 10 relievers around our area and they generate a lot of activity. Our reliever airports are home to more than 2,000 aircraft. They generate nearly one million takeoffs and landings a year, more than Bush and Hobby combined. Ellington is in the process of turning into the principal reliever airport for general aviation for Hobby, and that's really what its principal function is going to be. If you didn't have these, all these airplanes would be operating in the middle of commercial traffic, so as a passenger you would be sitting on the airplane a lot longer waiting to take off because there would be a Cessna 152 trying to take off in front of a 747. So you pull some of the traffic from the bigger airport so they can handle the commercial and some of the larger cargo traffic. We handle the private which is a much quicker more efficient manner of traveling. Community airports, sometimes called general aviation airports, provide a range of important services. There are 14 general aviation airports. Typically, they're not as busy as relievers, but they create jobs, generate local revenue, and attract businesses to their surrounding areas. Every airport is important to the system. No matter how small it is or how advanced it is, every airport plays a role in the system. A lot of the corporations that use it are businesses in your backyard because they're using it and it's close to their place of work and home. All the medical flights that come in and out, cargo, mail, there's so much activity that happens at the local regional airport. I think most people don't realize the importance that they bring. The plan establishes a balanced airport system. But if an airport closes, it's unlikely that it will reopen or be replaced. This is especially true of our urban areas, where open land is expensive and hard to find. That's the job of the Regional Aviation System Plan. To look at the system we have now and anticipate future needs. If you look at how the Houston economy is growing, we are poised for takeoff. And we are the airport system that's going to be required to support the growth of that economy. The ability to think down the, the road for 20 and 30 years about the investments that need to be made and have a plan working towards that is critical. Investment in these facilities is a great return to the economy of our region, to the jobs of our region, and to the welfare of all of us who benefit from the activities that occur at our general aviation facilities. Find out more about the plan. Visit www.h-gac.com/aviation.